I want to show you and go through a tutorial of how to use the physics classroom concept builders. Right now we're doing chemistry concept builders, but it's still the physics classroom. If I end up going to phys typing in the physics classroom or there's the link on your site, it'll look something like this. You'll click into where it says your account. And I'm already logged in, but you should have set up an account last week. If not, register as a student. It's on the back of this week's syllabus. At any rate, when you do that, you'll have my class in there, and it should have assignments and when they're due. The first assignment we're gonna, I'm going to ask you to do is a classification of matter concept builder. So when you select that, it gives you instructions in terms of exactly what I would like you to do. When it takes you to the concept builder, it's a little bit annoying. It can go to a full screen. I am not sure, actually that should not be that way because it should be my account. So when you go to the concept builders then, again, you should not have to go through these steps because it should have them assigned directly to you. But when you go to the concept builder, you should look to see and make sure that your name or your email is here. Otherwise, it's not going to record what you do. So there's four different parts to this. We're, I'm going to ask you to do each part for full credit. So it says tap to select a matching pair then do check match. So there are eight different boxes here. There should be four matches. So for example, let's say I do homogeneous mixture, and that is a pure substance of a single type of atom. Nope, that's an element. Uh, two or more different types of particles unevenly mixed. Nope, that's a heterogeneous mixture. Evenly distributed is that. So if I check match, hey, that's a match. Data away. Now, if I end up doing something like this, and I put these two together and I check match, that's going to be wrong. Uh-oh. You have to start over. So be careful and read things carefully. Um, if when you get done, you'll end up going back to the main menu. So I'm going to return even though I haven't finished that correctly. Next one you're going to do, photo ID. So it's looking whether or not these are heterogeneous, homogeneous, stuff like that. Pure substance, coffee, nope. Homogeneous mixture, that sounds right. Pure substance, nope. Heterogeneous mixture, that sounds right. And notice when you get one right, in this particular case, you get a star by it. Now let's say I do things wrong. So that looks like it's not a pure substance, but I'm going to leave it that way. Brass, notice that's two different elements. So that's a mixture, but this one's wrong. If I check answer, oh no, that's incorrect. So I have a red box here. When you come back, you're going to have to get two different questions right, not just one. But it shows, that, and the questions would be slightly different. OK, now I'm going to go back to the main menu. Again, when you get done with these, they'll light up as gold. You do need to finish each one of these parts before quitting a session, but you don't need to finish all parts before um, the submit. So essentially, by the time things are due, you should have all the ones that are requested being completed and have that gold crown there. Um, tap to select matching pair. Pure substance, an element. Well, that is an element because it only has one type of atom. This is a mixture of two types of elements because there's two different types of atoms, nitrogen and bromine. This is a compound of two different elements, and this is a mixture of two things, each with two elements. So I'm going to say mixture of two compounds. It's that, that away, an element, that away. And again, let's say I put two things that aren't correct together. Oh, no, I've got to start back from the beginning. So again, be very careful. Make sure you look over things. I'm going to go back to the main menu and show you the last one. Start. So this is going to be an example.
example here, if you look at each of these, there are three different types of atoms in one material. So that's compound, and they're all the same. These are two different types of elements, but two of each of those atoms. And so that's a single compound also. So this is a pure substance of one compound and a pure substance of one compound. That looks correct. The next one, now I've got elements, other elements, and then a compound. So I've got two elements and one compound. This one I have element, element, compound. So that's also two elements, one compound. But let's say I have things different and I put it incorrectly. Once again, oh drats, I'm gonna have to go back and do something like this and there'll be slightly different pictures. I have to get it incorrect twice. It'll give me a slightly different question on that one. Okay, so that's the tutorial, and hopefully.